The existing path to global integration requires a course correction. Because too often those trumpeting the benefits of globalization have ignored inequality within and among nations, have ignored the enduring appeal of ethnic and sectarian identities. Alternative visions of the world have pressed forward, both in the wealthiest countries and in the poorest. Religious fundamentalism, the politics of ethnicity or tribe or sect, aggressive nationalism, a crude populism, sometimes from the far left but more often from the far right, which seeks to restore what they believe was a better, simpler age free of outside contamination. We cannot dismiss these visions. They are powerful. They reflect dissatisfaction among too many of our citizens. I do not believe those visions can deliver security or prosperity over the long term. But I do believe that these visions fail to recognize at a very basic level our common humanity. Moreover, I believe that the acceleration of travel and technology and telecommunications together with a global economy that depends on a global supply chain, makes it self-defeating, ultimately, for those who seek to reverse this progress. Today, a nation ringed by walls would only imprison itself. So the answer cannot be a simple rejection of global integration. 